Hello, my name is James Anakin and I'm a student at the University of Bath studying mathematics. Welcome to this video about using the grid method to solve long multiplication. Uh, this video is suitable for anyone who's learning the grid method uh, for the first time or perhaps you're a parent wanting to help out your children with homework. So I'm just going to go through a couple of examples today um, that I hope you'll follow and understand and then from there I hope that you'll try a few more examples at home to really try and grasp this. Okay, so I'll start with the first example. 14 times 21, which looks quite complicated to start with, but when we break it up into its components, it's really quite simple. So we know that 14 is made up of 10 and 4, like so. And 21 is made up of 20 and 1. So now we need to work out each of these boxes here um, and then we add those boxes together to get the final answer. And the way we work out these boxes is we times the, the respective row and the column together to, to get each box. So we'll start off with the top left box which is 10 times, 10 times 20. So the way to work that out is we have 1 times 2 to give us 2, and then we have one, one zero here and another zero here. So we have two zeros, so we write in simply 200. For the next box here, we have 4 times 20, we do 4 times 2 to give us 8, and then add in the zero to make 80. This one here is just 10 times 1, simply 10, and then the bottom right hand one is 4 times 1 to give us 4. So now we have all our boxes worked out, we just need to add them together using simple uh, addition. So we'll start that. So we have 200 and 80, and then a 10. And then four to finish. So we add up the right hand column first. So we have zero and zero and zero and four. And then we have eight and one to give us nine. And then two to make 294. And that is the answer to 14 times 21. OK, we'll now move on to our second example, which is 284 times 72. Now this looks like a really nasty sum, but again, when we break it down, it shouldn't be too bad. So 284 is made up of 200, 80, and of course 4. And then 72 is made up of 70 and 2. And again, we need to work out each respective box and then add them together to get our answer. So I'll just do that now. So we have 200 times 70. And to, do, to work that out, we do 2 times 7 to give us 14. And then we have 1, 2, 3 zeros. We add those in, like so, to give us 14,000. 70 times 80, we do the 7 times the 8 to give us 56. And then we have 0 and 0 again, two zeros, put those at the end. And then next box is 70 times 40, 7 times 4 is 28. And then, don't forget the zero. Um, and then we have 200 times 2 for this box, which is 2 times 2 is 4. And then two more zeros to give us a total of 400 in that box. And then we have 80 times 2 
2 times 8 is 16. And then don't forget the 0. And lastly, we have 2 times 4 to give us 8. Now we have to add each of these boxes together, as before, to find out our final answer. So we'll start with the biggest one at the top, 14,000, and then 5,600, and then 400, Two hundred and eighty, one hundred and sixty, and then eight. Okay, so again we start with the rightermost column, and they're all zeros apart from the eight, so we just write eight. And then the next column we have eight and six to give us fourteen. So we write 4 and we carry the 1. So the 1 goes there. And then we have a 6 and a 4 to make 10. And a 2 and a 1 to give us 13. And then the 1 that we've carried, don't forget that, to give us uh, 14. So we, we write the 4 at the bottom. And then carry the 1 for the 14. And in this column, we have a 4 and a 5 to give us 9. Add the 1 that we've carried to give us 10. So we write the 0 and then carry the 1, like so. And then we just simply have 1 and the 1 to give us 2. So our total answer for 284 times 72 is 20,448. So when you work out like that, it's a lot easier to do. So thank you for watching and have, have a go at some of those at home.